sorry. I really am, Jeremy, but I felt that I had to tell you. Sure, sure, I'm, I'm glad you did. It's so that I can quite grasp that he has so little time left. You really do care about him, don't you? I mean, no. So many things I admire about him. I suppose I always thought of him as immortal. You still have time. You still have time to make it up to him, to, to be a son to him. Well, if I start to make overtures to him now, you'll know something's up. Obviously, he doesn't want any one of us to know that information. But I wasn't snooping. I mean, it, it was just lying there right on Dr. Martin's desk. I know. I know. And you're right. It's time for me to try to reconcile our differences while there's still time. Yes. Well, what have you two got your heads together about? Uh, business, Father, just business. Yeah. We were uh, discussing my sketches for the Woman of the Year nominees. Well, if you're going to paint them in the same lurid style that you did Erica's portrait, I think you'll have several lawsuits on your hands. Alex, what's wrong with my portrait? I love it. Jeremy, this is a warm and vibrant woman. Why not paint her in a style of your own rather than imitating others? You do have a style of your own, don't you? Well, of course he does, Alex. Jeremy painted my portrait in the deco style so that it would go with the room. Uh, can't you stand up for your own work, Jeremy? Do you have to hide behind Erica? Father, my work stands on its own. I can't dictate the opinion of the public. Public opinion can make or break you in the art world. Well, that's a chance every artist must take. Talent is the soul of the artist, or uh, so I'm told. I should think you'd want to defend it. I don't feel the need. What do you feel the need of, Jeremy? You, uh, you don't seem to have a passion for anything. Peaceful coexistence, Father. It's very important to me. Non-violence as opposed to uh, fighting for your rights. Defend yourself, damn it. Don't stand there kicking the dirt. If you love art so much, prove it. As you would protect the woman you love from being attacked. Danny, I can't find Nina anywhere. Told her I was here? Yeah, she agreed to the meeting. Oh, no. I don't think she changed her mind. No, no, I don't think so. Mrs. Murdoch said to try the stables because she saw Nina running out of the house well, with her fine, riding clothes. Let's, let's go over there. Go over there with don't, me. No, no, you wait here. Don't wonder. It's a miracle. Here, yeah. there, there's been an accident down the stables. Nina has been thrown from her horse. You don't be able to, you don't seem to be able to think well enough to defend it. Well, why does Jeremy have to defend it? He doesn't have to defend his art. I mean, it exists as any other creation does, and people either respond to it or they don't. But you wouldn't believe all the letters we get at Tempo Magazine from people all over the country. They are always begging for more portraits by Jeremy Hunter. They love his style. It's all right, Erica. You, you won't convince my father. Well, don't stop her. At least she has spunk enough to uh, put up a fight. Alex, your son knows how to fight. He's just a very caring person. You sound like you're in love with him. I am. In her ICU right now. Not the OR? No. No, not till she's stabilized. The vital signs are not good, Joe. Not good at all. Come on, let's go. Look, I know you must be in a state of shock right now. Just try and stay calm, and we will keep you posted. We appreciate that. Right. All the complaining I've been doing about how I lost my child. None of it means anything compared to this. Oh, she just can't die. If she dies, Daisy, it's all my fault. Yes, I do. But in a way you probably can't understand. I love his soul, and his talent, and his mind. Uh, but not his body. Why is that? Let's consider this conversation over, please. Yes, Alex, I mean, it is something you have to accept. That's all. Our love is not based on a physical attraction. Well, that doesn't seem very fair to Ned Hamill. I beg your pardon? What do you mean? 
I've only just gone out once with Ned Hamill. Well, Hamill wouldn't be a real man if he weren't attracted to you, Erica. But you seem to be taken in every way but one. Poor guy doesn't seem to have a chance. Father, this is none of your business. Don't take offense, Jeremy. If you and Erica enjoy this odd meeting of the souls, fine. Good. And then the subject is closed. It seems that uh, Erica's uh, going out with other men. I suppose you'll be seeing other women. Oh, I've got a great idea. I just met a charming little nurse over at the hospital. She'd be great for you, Jeremy. Father. No, 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 no. You'd enjoy her. She's very attractive. And, and she's uh, been studying art for a year. Father, I don't need you to fix me up. And then the six of us. Yes, that's not a bad idea. The six of us? Yes, me and Natalie, you and Ned, Jeremy and Samantha. That's her name, Samantha. A really charming creature. We could all go out to dinner. Forget it. Well, it must be very hard on you, Erica, having to deal with Jeremy's double signals. Alex, I really don't know what you mean. I think you do. Good night. But I think you were wonderful. I felt totally inadequate. Oh, come on. I know how many times that you were tempted. You never once took that bait. I was very proud of you the way you, you kept from fighting. Well, Madden, I know the truth about his condition. There's no way I can lose my temper in front of him. At times, it took all I had. Tell me. Yeah, well, thank heavens I did find out about his heart and told you. Something he said is true. What? His comment about me sending you double signals. What are you talking about? I don't know what you mean. He your vows. He doesn't know about that. What difference? He's right. I'm hurting you. It cannot go on. The horse caused the accident. See, I shouldn't have... What? Shouldn't have bought the horse? No, Boo's a lovely animal. Just high-spirited, all thoroughbreds are. I shouldn't have let her go to the... Stables, I should have known. You couldn't have known anything. Need is wonderful with horses, just... Just today, she must have misjudged the animal somehow. That's what I mean. She was upset. It's no wonder there was an accident. I, I should have stopped her somehow when I... I saw how she reacted. To what? Daisy, I told her the truth. I told her that Cliff was her husband and that you were her mother. Why? You didn't tell me. You didn't tell Cliff either. You've been telling us all along we mustn't say anything because we'd upset her. I know, I know. So why? If you were so afraid of what we might do to her, why did you suddenly take it on yourself to tell her? Daisy, it's a long story. So maybe you should tell me the whole thing. Oh, not here, Daisy. It's uh, some place a little private. Uh, we can go to Cliff's office. Take some time. What if Joe should come out with some news about it? Uh, um, excuse me. Um, I'm Mrs. Cortland. I wonder if, uh, if Dr. Martin, Martin comes back, could you tell him that my husband and I will be in Dr. Warner's office? No, no, of course, we'll be glad to. Workshop and to all our guests and visitors, the community fund drive is on. Please give Jefferson. It's a long, cold winter ahead. Remember, the community fund drive now. There's no question this will require exploratory surgery. These don't tell us nearly enough. And that drop in blood pressure indicates internal bleeding. We, we can't waste any time. I can hold the bridge, yes. He's the best man. Joe, Joe. Uh -huh. I want to do it. I want to do Nina's surgery. You don't mean that. Yes, I do. I'm dead serious. Now look, 
Cliff, it happens to be against hospital policy as I, well as against a, common sense. This is a special case, Joe. Come on, you know her memory is blocked. She has no idea who I am, even much less that I'm her Cliff, husband. What has that got to do with anything? Don't you this see is an it? emergency. It was a case of an emergency when we first met. What I mean, you you hoping that she will... Yes, exactly. It's possible, Joe, it is. It might be just a thing to jog her memory. I gotta have her back, Joe. I gotta have her back. Look, Cliff, I know how you feel. I, I know what you've been going then through. Then please. Don't deny me this chance, Joe, please. Do you think you can keep your emotions in check and still perform a complicated piece of surgery? Do you honestly think I would offer if I had the slightest doubt I was the best man for the job? Right. I mean, technically, you're absolutely right, particularly if it involves microsurgery. And it may, Joe, it may. Please, don't stand on hospital policy on this one, please. It's important sometimes to bend rules, Joe. This is the time. All right, Cliff. But you must realize the terrible burden you'll be placing on your conscience if something goes wrong. Nothing will go wrong, Joe. I'll pull her through. Believe me, everything I hope is riding on her opening her eyes. That sounded like you... Oh, wonderful! I'm very glad I've got the two of you together. Well, you haven't got me, Natalie. Eric, I'll be in my studio. I'll talk to you later. All right. I hope you're not running away, too. Running away? No, just going upstairs. Oh, well, I had hoped that I could talk to you about someone rather interesting that I met today. Oh, who's that? The fantastic Adam Chandler. The revolting Adam Chandler, you mean? Well, he seems charming. Of course, one does get the hint that he is capable of being ruthless. But like my husband, powerful men often exude... Oh, a please, certain... do not begin to compare Adam Chandler to Alex. I mean, Adam is this loathsome man. Why do you hate him so much? He tells me he's very fond of you and Jeremy. Fond? Well, fond is the wrong word. More like an unhealthy obsession. Well, for him to say anything about Jeremy... Without hatred, it's just a total lie. Well, that's not the impression that I got. Well, take it from me. I mean, ever since Jeremy arrived at Tempo Magazine, Adam has been out to get him. Was that because you and Jeremy were having an affair? I've told you, Natalie, that Jeremy and I never had any such thing. Well, Adam insists that right after Jeremy got to Tempo, the two of you began a very torrid affair. Oh, that's because our trick worked so well. What trick was that? I wanted to make Adam think that Jeremy and I were having a romance so he would leave me alone, so he would just stop trying to see me. Oh, I said, well, Jeremy must have enjoyed playing that charade. No, actually, Jeremy doesn't like to play games. It was very hard for me to get Jeremy to do this. But finally, he realized that I needed his help very badly to get the man off my back. So what you're telling me... I am telling you that the trick worked so well, Adam Chandler still believes we're lovers. And Jeremy and I always laugh because we fooled him so easily. I knew that I had to stop your suffering, and I thought that this was the only way. I just didn't realize that. Well, uh, wait a minute. Why don't you just start from the beginning? Well, it started when I saw a chance for Nina to have a new life. That is, a, a life without that messy, arranged cliff. What are you saying? It's my fault that Nina came home locked into that mental age of 16. Oh, PC, no, that isn't your fault that she has the memory block. Dr. Wall told Dr. you Dr. Wall didn't say anything. I pressured him with money for his clinic. Pressured him? Hmm. How? Go back to Austria and leave Nina on this plateau. You paid him? You paid him to abandon her like that? I didn't say it exactly like that. 